boys and girls, today I would like to read to you The Night Before First Grade. This is, we are entering our last week of kindergarten and you guys are starting to begin to look forward to what first grade will be like. So I want to read this story to you, The Night Before First Grade. It's by Natasha Wing. That's the author who writes the words and it's illustrated by Deborah Zemke. She is the illustrator who draws the pictures. Good job boys and girls. All right, let's get started reading. The night before first grade. Twas the night before first grade. I kissed my dog Clover. School's starting tomorrow because summer is over. Into my backpack went markers and pens. I hung my new outfit. It matched my friend Jen's. I spoke not a word, but went straight to the shelf and filled up my lunchbox. I made lunch myself. I can't wait to see Jenny, I told my big brother. I hope that our desks are right next to each other. That night I was nestled all snug in my bed while visions of jungle gyms danced in my heart. The next day at breakfast, dad made such a fuss. What a big girl you are to be taking the bus. Hurry, Penny, said Mom, as it turned down our street. Over here, shouted Jenny. I saved you a seat. She's taking the bus to first grade. At school, kindergartners stood outside in the hall. They all look so young. Were we ever that small? Remember being that small at the beginning of kindergarten, boys and girls? While they clung to their parents, we hugged Miss Sunrise. You two grew so tall, she said with surprise. Maybe you'll grow tall over the summer too, boys and girls. rang the school bell. We made such a clatter as we raced to our classroom. Then Jen said, what's the matter? What do you think is the matter, boys and girls? The principal told us that some changes were made. We have some new students, so we split the first grade. Hi, Penny, said my teacher. You're in here with me. But Jenny wasn't. She was in room 33. Oh no, she's going to a different class than her friends. We waved goodbye sadly and said, see you later. I had to be brave because I'm a first grader. Soon we sat in a circle and we each said our name. Then we played 20 questions and I won the game. Mr. Barr is so funny. He tells jokes and juggles and our class pet's so cute. It's a bunny named Snuggles. I knew most of the kids except just a few. So I went and said hi to a girl who was new. Oh, I hope you will all do that, boys and girls, too, to meet new friends in first grade. We sat side by side and made pictures with noodles. We laughed when we saw we both made noodle poodles. Noodle and poodle are rhyming words. We both have pet turtles and love turquoise blue and pistachio ice cream is her favorite too. They even like the same kind of ice cream. 
I can't wait till you meet my best friend at lunch. I just know you'll both like each other a bunch. The lunchroom was buzzing so busy and loud. We sat down at a table. Was Jen in this crowd? Did she find her friend Jen? When what to my wondering eyes there in line was Jen with a new friend who looked just like mine. <laughs> Have two friends that look the same? Their eyes, how they twinkle. They had behind matching frames. They had curly pigtails and they had rhyming names. She says, I'm Tina. I'm Nina. Ow. Our new friends were twins. And though school's just begun, I know first grade will be twice as much fun. So I'm so proud of you boys and girls. I hope you have a great summer and I wish you the best of luck in first grade. So proud of you. See you next year. Come say hi.